Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. The Sultanate signs a participation agreement with the organising committee of Dubai Expo 2020. The Sultanate reviews investment opportunities at the Tunisian Arab Tourism Forum. And the quantity of the Sultanate's fish exports shows an increase of more than 20% by the end of 2016. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. The Sultanate, represented by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, signed an agreement with the committee organising Expo 2020 Dubai. The Sultanate will participate in this international event, along with 180 countries, to display through its pavilion the civilizational and humanitarian achievements and developments of the Sultanate during the prosperous era of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. The pavilion also aims to promote the Sultanate as a touristic destination in addition to enhancing regional and international relations, including investment in promising economic fields. The Sultanate participated in the works of the Arab Tunisian Forum for Tourism Investment, which is considered an opportunity to get acquainted with the incentives and facilities provided by Arab countries to encourage investment. The Forum also shed light on investment opportunities in the public and private sectors. The Sultanate's delegation was headed by His Excellency Ahmed bin Nasser al Marazi, the Minister of Tourism, with the presence of a number of businessmen and officials. The G Adventures Group enlisted the Sultanate at the top of its tourism bulletin that included its main destinations for the upcoming year 2018. It is considered one of the pioneering global groups in the field of organising tourism journeys. The independent media newspaper in one of its reports said that G Adventure Group's tours in 2018 include 34 touristic destinations, the first of which is the Sultanate. It also pointed out that enlisting the Sultanate coincides with the growth of travel applications in the Middle East region by 86%. The Sultanate strongly condemned the shootout on a military security patrol in the Awahat area of Egypt and the terrorist bombings in Afghanistan that led to the injury and death of many. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in a statement, affirmed the Sultanate's firm stance and deep fraternal solidarity with Egypt and the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan towards violence and all acts of terrorism, expressing its deep condolences and sincere sympathy to families of the victims and wishing the injured a speedy recovery. Al Masara Hospital organised a ceremony to celebrate World Mental Health Day. The ceremony aimed to equate the participants with the importance of mental health and ways of preventing mental disorders. It included awareness programmes and plays, as well as sections for providing medical support for the treatment of mental disorder patients. The ceremony was presided over by Her Highness Saida Hujaja bint Jaifa Al Said. The Omani Society for Petroleum Services and Small and Medium Enterprises Development Fund launched the first course of the TASIS program, which is one of the incentives initiatives to qualify youth in the oil and gas sector. The course includes a complete program to establish institutions working in oil and gas while digging and aims to support in-country value in the development of national human resources in the oil and gas sector. Still to come in our news bulletin. Hawiyat Najam, or the sinkhole, is a popular touristic destination in the Sultanate.
Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Iman Television. Syria and Iran today signed a joint memorandum of understanding for developing cooperation and coordination between the two countries' armies. It included field combat expertise, military intelligence and technology, as well as strengthening the two countries' ability to fight terrorism and stand up to the American plans. Iran has been one of Syria's strongest supporters since the country's crisis began in 2011 and has sent thousands of militiamen to boost their troops against militants. The Iranian chief of staff, Mohammad Bagheri, is on an official visit to Syria during which he visited front lines in the northern province of Aleppo and discussed military cooperation with the president. At least 54 policemen, including 20 officers and 34 conscripts, were killed when a raid on a militant hideout outside of Cairo escalated into an all-out firefight. The exchange took place in the Awahat al baria area in the Giza Governorate, about 135 kilometers from the Egyptian capital, after security services received information on the militant's location. The police also deployed aircraft to confront the militants. A police official said today that the man arrested after a search for the perpetrator of a knife attack in Munich is likely to be the attacker. The suspected assailant of the attack, in which four people were injured, was a local German already known to police for theft and other offences. No one was seriously hurt in the attack, which started at around 8.30 a.m. local time in an area east of central Munich. Police said that they believed it was not a terror attack. The, su the suspected, they suspected instead that the assailant had psychological problems. The lone attacker apparently went after passers-by indiscriminately with a knife. He attacked eight people in all, including a 12-year-old child, at different sites. The total quantity of fish landed during 2016 stood at 279,610,000 tonnes compared to 257,172 tonnes in 2015 according to the latest statistics issued by the National Centre for Statistics and Information. The total value of fish exported in 2016 stood at 58.8 million Omani rials compared to 48.8 million rials in 2015. The total quantity of fish exported increased to 114 tonnes in 2016 from 111 tonnes in 2015. The total quantity of fish landed by traditional fishing sector in 2016 increased to 277,000 tonnes from 254,000 tonnes in 2015, while fish landed by commercial fishing declined to 163 tonnes in 2016 from 210 tonnes in 2015, the data showed. A ceremony was organised by the Omani Women's Association in the Walaya of Wadi Amawel in the Governorate of South Batana to celebrate Omani Women's Day. It witnessed a wide participation from women in the society. The celebration included motivational speeches and poetic sessions as well as visual presentations about successful women in different jobs. The event also witnessed artistic performances by children. The event also aimed to motivate women to exert further efforts for a bright and prosperous future as well as serving the country. The Photographic Society of Oman organised the 8th Exhibition for Omani Female Photographers. The annual exhibition aims to embody the photography level and skills of Omani photographers. The exhibition showcased different artworks by a number of female photographers that range from portraits to other images of natural landscapes. The photographs showcase human lifestyles in desert, sea, village and city environments, which are considered the main aspects of the artistic pieces.
with the aim of cleaning beaches and making them more attractive as well as protecting the marine environment a cleaning campaign was organized in the wilaya of Kassab in the governorate of Musandam. The campaign will tour around the governorate with the participation of representatives from public and private sectors. It also aimed to spread awareness among members of the community on the significance of preserving the environment as well as encouraging youth participation in voluntary work activities. Many tourists, including Omani residents, do not miss in their itinerary a visit to the sinkhole, an hour and a half's drive from Muscat towards Saw. Our reporter, Salah bin Kalfan al Rapi, has more details in the following report. Between the villages of Dabab and Bama, on the Qoriyatur Highway, a natural sinkhole is located. The sinkhole is structurally a pond of turquoise water. It is only about 600 meters away from the sea. I've been here for, um, for twice already. Um, the first time was three years ago with my friends and now this is my second time with my husband. The place is very, um, very nice and uh, it's amazing that there's a hole in this place. So it's, uh, it's natural and it's really a nature. This sinkhole is locally known as Hawet Najm. According to geologists, it was formed after the upper layer of land caved in. However, locals believe that it was created by the fall of a meteorite. Hawet Najm, or the sinkhole, is a popular destination for tourists to see the unique formation, have a swim in the water, or enjoy their time under the shades in the park. For the Sultanate of Oman Television English News, Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi, Masqat. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over the Sultanate with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the governorates of South Sharkia and Worcester. Winds will be northerly to northeasterly, light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one metre. This is a Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Sultanate signs the participation agreement with the organising committee of Dubai Expo 2020. The Sultanate reviews investment opportunities at the Tunisian Arab Tourism Forum. And 
the quantity of the Sultanate's fish exports shows an increase of more than 20% by the end of 2016. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.